First things first, I'd like to bring in some AutoCAD into our Revit model. There's two different reasons why we would do this. One, perhaps we have an architectural floor plan that's not in Revit, but we want a model in Revit. What we're going to do is bring in a floor plan. Next, what we want to do is bring in a detail. A lot of our details have been created in AutoCAD. We can easily bring those into Revit. So to get started, let's go to Projects. Let's just go to New. I'm going to use a mechanical template, and I'm going to click OK. What I'd like to do now is, in my project browser, let's go down to Floor Plan 1 Mech. Now, I'd like to go to my Insert tab, and we can either import CAD, or we can link CAD. First, let's go to Link CAD. Browse to where you're keeping your exercise files. Now, I'm going to grab my architectural floor plan level 1. Now, a couple things to look out for. The first thing I want to look at is current view only. If we're bringing in a floor plan, we don't want that floor plan to show up in every single view. Essentially, if it's level 1, we want to make sure that we align our architectural AutoCAD with what we have going on in the project browser. So, I want to make sure I click on current view only. Now, for our colors, depending on how you want to see this, we can show all of the colors that are native to the AutoCAD drawing, basically the layers. Instead of preserve, I'm going to go black and white. We could also invert it, but that looks kind of weird. I'm going to go black and white. Now, layers in AutoCAD or levels in MicroStation, we can show all of them, visible, or go ahead and click on specify. For the import units, now this is the hard part, because we're never really sure what's going on in AutoCAD in terms of scale. I'm going to leave it at Auto Detect for now. I'd like to correct lines that are slightly off axis. Now, for our positioning, generally, you always want to go Auto Origin to Origin. However, there's a few different choices. I'm going to keep it Auto Origin to Origin. Now, I'm going to click Open. Now, because we selected the layers, we can come through now and we can uncheck or check or whatever we want to do. We can check all or check none. I'm going to keep them all checked on, and I'm going to click OK. Now that this has been imported, notice that we see all the line types just as they were in AutoCAD. Now what I'd like to do is go ahead and select our link. Notice that it automatically pins it. So that means that if you didn't really want it to come in origin to origin, you could unpin it and then move it. One thing I like to do, though, is check and make sure that it's to scale. So I see 100 feet here. So what I want to do is I want to click on my Measure button. I'm going to come down to here, and I'm going to pick this endpoint. I'm going to come all the way down to here. I'm going to pick this endpoint, and my total length is 100 feet. If it wasn't 100 feet, you could either get rid of the link and bring it back in using feet and inches or inches. I'm going to hit Escape a few times. Now what I'd like to do is select the link again. Now notice that we can go to Query. So go ahead and click on Query. And now we can zoom in and we can select any one of these items we want. So I'm going to grab this little door swing here. Now it gives us our block name, because that was a block that we selected. It gives us our layer, gives us our style by. We can delete that layer completely or we can simply hide that layer in view. Now remember, it's not just going to hide the object, it's going to hide everything in view. So I'm just going to click OK. Now I'm going to hit Escape a few times. Now what I'd like to do is bring in a detail. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my View tab, and I'm going to go to Drafting View. For the name, I'm going to call it Cabinet. I'm going to keep the scale at inch and a half equals a foot. Again, because we're bringing in AutoCAD, sometimes we have to figure out what that scale is before we bring it in. I happen to know that the detail I'm bringing in is, in fact, inch and a half equals a foot. So I'm going to click OK. Now I want to go back to Insert, but this time I'd like to Import CAD. Notice that Current View Only is grayed out because it understands that I'm bringing it into a drafting view. I'm going to grab my typical base cabinet, I want my colors to be black and white. This time my layers, my levels, I just want to go with visible. That's generally the choice I like. Import units is auto detect. Now for our positioning, we can go center to center. It's not really going to matter because this is a drafting view. I'm going to click open. 
if you type ZA to zoom all, here it is. Now you see that we've brought this drafting view in exactly how it is in the AutoCAD drawing. Now, if we select it, suppose we want to move some of these items. Well, we have to explode it, but there's two different ways to explode. If we click the drop down, we can do a partial explode or we can do a full explode. So now a partial explode, if we were to choose that, what would happen is if we exploded this and say, for example, these little wood blockings are blocks themselves, these wouldn't get exploded. If we select it and we go to explode and if we go to full explode, everything is going to be exploded down to lines, arcs, circles, and hatches. So go ahead and click on full explode. Now when we hover over this, notice that this is a filled region and these are lines. And if we select this, unfortunately, it explodes this down to single line text. My advice to you is when you do this, re-annotate it and re-dimension it. So here we have two different ways that we can bring in an AutoCAD drawing.